Right now, NVIDIA is sitting on top of the AI world. They've built an empire on silicon and control a massive 80 to 90% of the AI chip market. Their software, CUDA, has become the default language of artificial intelligence, a digital kingdom they have ruled for years. For a long time, they've seemed completely untouchable, but that dominance is starting to look a little less certain. A rebellion is brewing, and it's not happening in the shadows anymore. Tech titans like AMD and Intel are launching powerful new hardware designed with one goal in mind, to break NVIDIA's grip on the market. At the same time, NVIDIA's biggest customers are quietly developing their own chips. The fight for the future of AI isn't just starting, it's becoming an all-out war. In this video, we'll break down who has a real shot at dethroning the king, and who is likely to fail. To really get what's happening, you first have to understand just how NVIDIA built its empire. Their dominance isn't just about having the fastest chips, it's about creating a fortress so integrated that leaving it feels almost impossible. It all starts with the hardware. You've heard the names, Hopper, and now the absolute monster that is Blackwell. These aren't just graphics cards, they are the engines driving the entire AI revolution. The Blackwell B200 GPU, for instance, is an engineered marvel that sets the standard for training huge AI models, and for inference, which is just using those models to get answers, images, or predictions. This relentless innovation gives NVIDIA huge pricing power. Demand is so high that the company's data center revenue surged to a record $22.6 billion in the first quarter of fiscal year 2025 alone. This lets them command gross margins in the mid-70% range, a number that's almost unheard of in the hardware business. But hardware is just the outer wall of the fortress. The real defense, the deep moat around their castle, is the software, CUDA. Think of it like this. If AI is a new country, CUDA is its native language. For over a decade, almost every serious AI researcher, developer, and data scientist has learned to speak it. CUDA, or Compute Unified Device Architecture, is a platform that gives developers direct access to the massive parallel processing power of NVIDIA's GPUs. It's a huge ecosystem of libraries, tools, and support that, simply put, just works. This creates an incredibly powerful lock-in effect. Switching from CUDA to something else isn't just swapping out a chip. It means rewriting code, retraining entire teams, and dealing with a much less mature software landscape. For big companies that have spent years and millions of dollars building their AI systems on CUDA, the cost to switch is astronomical. NVIDIA hasn't just been selling chips, they've been selling the only picks and shovels everyone knows how to use in the AI gold rush. But that kind of power creates problems. The high cost and long wait times for NVIDIA's top-tier hardware have left a lot of customers frustrated. No one wants to be dependent on a single supplier, especially one with this much control. This frustration has fueled a rebellion. Challengers are finally making their move. Leading the charge is NVIDIA's longtime rival AMD. For years, AMD was in NVIDIA's shadow, but now they're emerging as the most credible threat. Their main weapon is the Instinct series of accelerators, specifically the powerful MI300X and the upcoming MI350 family. AMD's strategy is a classic one, attack on performance and price. Recent announcements show that AMD's MI350 series offers comparable and in some cases even better performance than NVIDIA's chips, particularly for tasks that require a lot of memory. The MI350X has an impressive 288GB of high bandwidth memory, which is a lot more than some of NVIDIA's Blackwell chips, allowing it to handle bigger AI models on a single chip. More importantly, AMD is offering this power at a lower cost. One company executive claimed their chip could provide up to 40% more performance per dollar on inference tasks. And that's a huge deal for big cloud companies trying to manage their costs. Major players like Microsoft and Oracle are already adopting AMD's chips for their cloud services, desperate for a viable alternative to NVIDIA. But AMD faces a massive uphill battle. Their software platform, ROCM, is the open-source answer to CUDA. 
While it's improving quickly, it still doesn't have the maturity, stability, and broad support of NVIDIA's ecosystem. Developers often report that ROCM requires more tinkering to get things working right, a pain point that CUDA solved years ago. AMD is pouring resources into closing this software gap, but for now, it's their Achilles heel. Then you have the old king of silicon, Intel, a giant trying to fight its way back to the top. Intel's main weapon in the AI war is the Gaudi 3 Accelerator. Intel's strategy is all about offering a cost-effective alternative. They claim Gaudi 3 delivers significantly better price performance on certain AI tasks, compared to NVIDIA's H100. The company is slowly gaining ground, securing partnerships with Dell, HPE, and landing a big win with IBM Cloud, which will offer Gaudi 3 to its customers in 2025. The reality is Intel is still playing catch-up. While Gaudi 3 is competitive on price, it lags in raw computing power and the maturity of its software known as One API. With its main business and CPU shrinking, the pressure on Intel to win in AI is huge, but they are a distant third in this race for now. But maybe the biggest threat to NVIDIA isn't from its old rivals, but from its biggest customers. The hyperscalers Google, Amazon, AWS, and Meta are tired of paying premium prices for NVIDIA's chips and are now designing their own custom AI silicon. Google has its Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs, with the latest generation called Trillium. Amazon has its AWS Trainium and Inferentia chips, which they say can cut AI training costs by up to 50%. And Meta is developing its own line of chips called the Meta Training and Inference Accelerator, or MTIA, to power its recommendation algorithms and LLAMA models. The strategy here is vertical integration. By designing chips specifically for their own software and data centers, these giants can optimize for cost and efficiency in a way that general-purpose chips from NVIDIA can't always match. This trend is a fundamental threat to NVIDIA's business model. However, these custom chips are built for their own walled gardens. Google's TPUs work best with its cloud platform, and Amazon's Trainium chips are exclusive to AWS. They are fragmenting the market, not conquering it. This war is just getting heated up, with new battlefronts opening every month. If you're getting value from this deep dive and want to stay ahead of the curve on the biggest shifts in tech, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Your support helps me create more in-depth content just like this. So, with the battle lines drawn, who is positioned to win? The future of the AI kingdom will be decided on three key fronts. Raw performance, the software ecosystem, and the all-important factor of price and accessibility. NVIDIA's Blackwell is an absolute powerhouse especially for the most advanced tasks, but AMD's MI350 is now a real contender, especially in areas where memory capacity is king. For many customers, the performance from both sides is becoming good enough, which shifts the focus to other factors. This brings us to the real battlefield, software. CUDA remains NVIDIA's fortress. Its maturity and the massive size of its developer community Give it an advantage that hardware specs alone can't beat. However, the Rebellion's open-source strategy with ROCM is a powerful counter-move. By being open, AMD is attracting developers who are philosophically against being locked into a single proprietary system. It's a long-term play, but if ROCM can get to a point where it runs CUDA code almost perfectly, which is the goal of a few projects, then NVIDIA's biggest advantage starts to disappear. Finally, there's price and accessibility. This is NVIDIA's greatest vulnerability and the Rebellion's sharpest spear. The huge cost and long waiting list for NVIDIA's best chips are what push customers to seriously look for alternatives. AMD and Intel are aggressively taking advantage of this, offering powerful hardware that is not only cheaper, but also available. For many companies, getting a capable chip now is better than waiting for the absolute best one. So, who will dominate the future of AI? For now, NVIDIA's throne is secure. The company's relentless innovation with chips like Blackwell and its deeply entrenched CUDA software ecosystem provide a defense that is incredibly difficult to breach. They still command the lion's share of the market for a reason. However, the days of undisputed rule are over. The rebellion is not just brewing, it's a full-blown assault on multiple fronts. AMD has emerged as a formidable rival, delivering competitive hardware at a compelling price, and is steadily closing the software gap.
Meanwhile, the hyperscalers are proving that there are other paths to AI acceleration, chipping away at NVIDIA's dominance from the inside. In the end, we may not see a single winner. Instead, we are entering a new era of fierce competition. This AI chip war will be fantastic for the industry. It will drive down prices, spark faster innovation, and give developers and businesses more choice than before. NVIDIA will likely remain the king, but its empire will be smaller and its reign will be constantly contested. But now, I want to hear from you. Who do you think will win the AI chip war? Is CUDA's moat simply unbeatable? Or do you believe the rebels led by AMD have what it takes to storm the castle? Let me know your predictions in the comments below.